The practice today is all around the theme of letting go. So though we'll be working up to some twists and some forward bends uh, and some hip poses, it's, it's all about even whilst we're working and connecting to our strength, how do we let go of the unnecessary tension? Uh, today, you don't need any props, but if uh, it would be helpful to pad your knees, have a blanket or something to pad your knees uh, when we're doing lunges. And if you've got a block or two around, they might be helpful for some of the poses. Enjoy the practice. Working with this idea of letting go and, and feeling into the parts of you that kind of are holding or are stiff, feel for using every every pose and every breath to help dissolve and let go anything you want to let go of let's start with let's start with quite a simple twist have your right leg straight and your left leg bent so right leg straight left leg bent inhale and lengthen the right arm up also lengthen up the crown of your head Exhale, twist around to the left and either hook the elbow over the knee or hold onto the knee with the hand. Left hand could go on the floor behind you. Now ease into your breath. Using your breath to help you break up and let go of any held tension. I also want you to slightly press down the left foot and the right leg into the floor. So you're starting to warm up the legs too. Then turn towards the front and come into a forward bend here. Just let your, uh, keep your, let your left knee drop to the side. And you'll either do this with the left foot in next to the inside of the thigh, or if you're having a super flexible day and your knee is not stressed by this, you could put your foot on top of the thigh in like a half lotus. So either leg, either foot in half lotus or foot to the inside of the thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, come forwards just as far as feels comfortable and then rest the hands on the floor. Inhale and have the feet slightly active. Press the, press the feet down into the leg or the floor. Spread the toes out. Exhale, feel for softening the upper body, particularly the shoulders and the neck. So with every breath, you can soften and let go of tension. Not straining or forcing here, just, just melting and letting go, particularly with the upper body. Inhale, walk your hands towards your hips, straighten up with the spine. Exhale, change the legs over. We'll do the, the twist first. So left leg straight, right leg bent with the knee, knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, press down with the legs, lift up with the left arm. Exhale, twisting around to your right, hooking the elbow over the knee or holding onto the knee with the hand. Right hand on the floor behind you. Slowly deepening your breath. And using your breath to wash through any areas of tension, any areas of holding.
feeling for making that internal connection between your breath and those places so that they can soften. Inhale, turn towards the front. Exhale and set up this right leg either in half lotus or with the foot in next to the thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lean forwards, bringing the hands onto the, onto the floor and then relaxing the head forwards. Now keep a sense of awakeness in the legs. Press the press the press the foot the foot and foot. Like press your feet either sort of against the leg or down towards the leg. And press the 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 whole leg, the whole straight leg, the whole left leg. Sort of push that down into the floor a little. But then make the upper body melty. Stick in any spots you know that you're holding. progressively letting go bit by bit. Breath by breath. Inhale, walk the hands in, sit up. Exhale, un unbend the legs, give them a shake. Now let's come on to our back for some abdominals. Let's start with uh, somatic yoga cat stretch one and then cat stretch four. Let me talk you through this. So lie on the back with the knees bent, arms resting comfortably somewhere near the, near the sides. Inhale and arch the lower back away from the floor. So you're keeping the hips down, just lifting the lumbar away from the floor. Exhale, relaxing the lower back. So the lower back will drop towards the floor. You're not pushing it down. That's just a, a relaxation of that movement. So inhale, slightly arch the lower back, lifting lower back away from the floor, keeping the hips down, feeling the space between the lower back and the floor. Exhale, very slowly come out of that. So releasing that action super, super slowly. Noticing the lower back as you do that. Do that a couple more times. Coming out of it very, very slowly. Feeling for bringing release to the lower back. After that round, pause for a moment or two. Noticing your body, noticing your lower back. Continuing to let go. Cat stretch exercise number four. Take your right hand behind the head. You'll be in a moment, you'll be lifting the left foot up and lifting the head and shoulders up, pointing the right elbow towards the left knee. But let's come into it uh, in a specific way. So starting with the, the both feet on the floor and the head on the floor, just with the hand behind the head. Inhale, slightly arch the low back away from the floor as you just did. Exhale, relax the curve in the lower back. 
Now lift the head up off the floor, lift the left foot up off the floor and point your right elbow towards the left knee. Long, slow inhale as you bring the foot down to the floor and the head down to the floor, letting the belly lengthen very, very, very slowly. Exhale, pausing here, letting your weight land into the floor. That's the, that's the sequence. So we'll keep doing it on this side. Inhale, arch the lower back away from the floor, increasing the lumbar curve. Exhale, relax the lower back, decreasing the lumbar curve. Lift left foot up, lift right elbow up, elbow pointing towards the knee. Inhale, very slowly bring the foot down, bring the head down. Coming out of that really slowly, really slow release. Exhale, pausing and landing here. Inhale, slightly arch the lower back. Belly is soft. Exhale, soften the lower back, but contract the belly. Lift the head up, lift the left foot up. Feel a sense of crossways contraction across the belly. Inhale, very slowly release the contraction at the belly so you come back down to the floor. Exhale, relaxing. Do one more complete round on that side. Paying attention to this contraction and the release at the belly. Then we'll do the other side. So you'd have your left hand behind the head, right hand on the floor. Inhale, slightly arch the low back. Exhale, relax the curve at the lower back. Lift the right foot up. Lift up your head and left elbow. Moving left elbow towards the right knee. You don't have to get it to touch the knee. Just go as far as feels comfortable. Inhale very slowly. And the slower you go, the better it is. Slowly returning the foot to the floor and the head to the floor. Exhale, totally relaxing that. Inhale, slightly arch the lower back away from the floor. Exhale, relax the curve in the low back. Lift the elbow up, lift the knee up. Contracting crossways diagonally across the belly. Inhale, letting go at the belly as the right foot comes down and the head comes down. Do two more full rounds, super, super slowly. Coming out as slow as you can. Just one hand behind the head. It's like the opposite hand behind the head. Once you finish that round, just pausing, sensing the body, noticing the effects of that. Noticing if there's a sense of being able to let go of anything from the belly or the lower back. Let's do uh, the, uh, the, like a more regular elbow to knee now, like the type we've done a lot of before. Coming into this in, in stages, we'll just do the legs first. Lift the feet up off the floor with the knees bent. So no elbow, elbows to begin with, and we'll add the elbows in in a moment. Inhale and expand your breath. Pause. 
pause, press the top of the sacrum, like the top of the back of the pelvis down towards the floor. Exhale, straighten the right leg out at about 45 degrees to the floor, spread the toes out, gather the belly in. Inhale, slowly bend the knee, bringing the leg back to where it was before. Pause, press the top of the sacrum, like the top of the back of the pelvis down. Exhale, straighten out the left leg. So it's about 45 degrees to the floor. Gather the belly in. Inhale, bend the knee, leg comes back to where it was. Pause, press the top of the sacrum down. Exhale, straighten the right leg. Spread out the toes on the right leg, gather the belly in. Inhale, bending the right knee. Press the top of the sacrum down. Exhale, extending out the left leg, gathering the belly in. Inhale, bend the knee. If you want to also do the head and shoulders, clasp both hands together behind the head. Inhale, lift the head and shoulders up off the floor. Both knees, both legs are still in that same start position. Press the top of the sacrum down. Exhale, both elbows point towards left knee. Right leg extends away, lower belly pulls down. Inhale, bend the knee, bring both elbows to the middle. Press the top of the sacrum down. Exhale, both elbows go to the right. Left leg extends out, belly gathers in. Inhale, bend the knee, bring the elbows to the middle. Have both shoulder blades up off the floor if you can. By, by the action of the core, not by pulling on the head. Exhale, both elbows left, right leg straightens. Keep the left shoulder blade up off the floor. Inhale, bend the knee, bring both elbows to the middle. Press the top of the sacrum down. Exhale, both elbows right, left leg extends. Lift the right shoulder blade up off the floor more. Gather the belly in. Do two more rounds on your own. That's two more to either side. And then once you finish that round, bring the feet to the floor. And after that, do a simple lying down twist, tracking the knees from one side to the other. Maybe take some sighs whilst you're doing this. Ah. Letting go whatever the abdominal exercises stirred up. Ah. And if sound or size helps you to let go, feel free to keep doing that through the class in any pose that you like. It's your practice and if doing that helps you, that's great. way onto one side now and come on to back come back onto the hands and knees let's do downward facing dog with one leg up so inhale and plant both hands steadily down onto the mat exhale tuck your toes under lift the knees up and come into downward facing dog let's stay with with both feet on the floor to begin with Maybe ease your weight from side to side so you feel a stretching in the back of each leg alternately.
And then from downward facing dog, lift your left leg back and up. And if this feels too much on the wrist today, you could do this in dolphin or keep both feet on the floor. Reaching the leg back and up, straightening the leg that's in the air. Then bring that to the floor. Lift the other leg up and back. Straightening out both legs. Reaching up with the leg that's in the air. There might be a slight lifting of the right hip, but not too much. Okay, bring the foot down to the floor and then walk both feet towards your hands. Come into a forward bend and come all the way up. Let's do some standing poses now to get into a few more, few more twists. So our first vignette, Let's, let's mix this up and put some, some half sun salutations between each of these three pose stories. So stand at one of the short ends of your mat to begin with. Inhale and come to chair pose, taking the hips back and the arms forwards. Exhale into a forward bend, bringing the arms down, relaxing the head down too. Inhale and make your way into plank pose, walking or stepping the feet back. Exhale and lower yourself all the way down to the floor, bringing the knees to the floor if you need to. Inhale into cobra, lifting the chest forwards and up. Exhale into downward facing dog. Then we'll move into our first vignette and this will start with easing to easy twisting warrior. Step the left foot as far forward as you can. And if it hasn't got all the way to the hands, you might need to take the left foot further forwards. And then we'll do this with the back toes curled under, back knee up, right hand on the floor, and then left hand up in the air. It's an easy twisting warrior. Inhale and lengthen your ribs to forwards, towards the short end of the mat. Exhale, lengthen your right heel in the opposite direction. Feeling how there's, this is a twist. So if you're looking down towards the floor, rotate the ribs a little more so you're looking to the side. You can vary this by bringing the back knee down to the floor if you want, if, if you want to make this a bit easier and do twisting lunge. Easy twisting lunge anyway. Now we'll come into twisting lunge. Bring your right knee down to the floor and lift your torso up. And then you'll be hooking your right elbow over the thigh. Make a fist with that hand, wrap the left hand around it. Coming into twisting lunge. Notice if you feel any tight spots or heavy or dense areas. And feel for using your breath to help dissolve those. So this was the, the second pose in our three pose story. The final pose we'll do uh, in, this, in this set is nomads pose. So you come unt untwist. And the nomad's pose is a bit of a stretch in the, in the back of the leg. You'll take your left foot further forward so you can straighten out the leg. And then you're coming into a forward bend here as well. So bringing the hands onto the leg or you could have hands on blocks or hands on the floor. I like to do this with a, a bit of a, a flex and point in the foot. So, Inhale and, and reach the ball of the foot forward. Exhale, flex the foot, pulling, to, pulling the toes towards the knee. 
So we inhale, reaching forwards with the ball of the left foot. Exhaling and flexing. Do that two more times. Using breath and movement to help dissolve tension. Letting go. Okay, so that's the end of the first vignette. You could stand up or do downward facing dog. Or if you want to do the half sun salutation, inhale and make your way into plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. So we need to do that three pose story on the other side. Step your right foot forward for easy twisting warrior. Bring the foot as far forwards as the hands. And then you're doing this with the left hand on the floor, right hand up in the air. So you've got right foot forward, left foot back. Back toes are curled under and back knee is up off the floor. Inhale and imagine lengthening the rib cage and the crown of the head forwards. Exhale, feel for lengthening the left heel backwards. Bringing your knee to the floor if, if that feels better for you this evening. Then we'll do twisting lunge. Everybody bring your left knee down to the floor. Take your left elbow and hook it over the left thigh. You twist, so you're twisting around into twisting lunge. Kind of like. Notice if you're getting into fights with, po with the poses. Feel for softening and letting go. And just bringing more breath. Bring, bring more breath and more let go to the areas of struggle. So the third pose in this three pose vignette was nomad's pose. Come out of the twist with your torso and then take your right foot further forward so you can straighten the leg out and then come into a forward bend, bringing the hands onto the leg or onto the floor. Do the pendulum with the foot again. So inhale and reach forwards with the ball of the foot, exhaling and flexing the foot. Doing all this with an attitude of letting go. So that's the end of the first vignette. Before we move on to the next one, either stand up or come into downward facing dog. Or if you want to do a half sun salutation, inhale and step back into plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. The next, the next vignette, the next set of three poses, is, uh, is gonna start with triangle. So step your left foot forward, stand up and set up your legs for triangle. So we are gonna start with the left toes turned out 90 degrees and the right toes are in a little bit. Great. Inhale, reach the arms out to the side. 
Exhale, bring your left hand down onto the leg, right hand up in the air. Or if your shoulders don't feel so good with this today, with any of these poses with the arm in the air, you could take the hand down onto the hip instead. Inhale, reach up with the hand if it's in the air. Exhale, anchor down through your feet. Feeling the feet on the floor. Feeling for a balance between being, being active and steady in this pose and also letting go. Edge the shoulders away from the head a little. From here, we'll come into vertical splits. Bring the right hand down, bend your left knee, and step your right foot towards the left foot so you can bring both hands down to the floor in front of your left foot. So both hands are on the floor and then you're lifting the right leg back and up. Finding the balance between what do I need to do here and what's the excess tension that I could let go of? How do I connect to my strength but let go of tension? And then we'll move into half moon. Take your right hand onto the, onto, back onto the hip. And then you're working into more of a twist here. So still standing on the left leg, but starting to twist the, the ribs open. Working with the leg that's in the air about the same height as the hip. Susan, you look really strong. In fact, lots, some, some of you look really strong. Some of you I can't quite see because it's dark. It's good. Jane, work with the sense of rotating the ribs, so kind of rotating the ribs around the side. Yeah, that, that direction's good. Okay, then bend your knees, come out of this, and either this is where you can either stand up or go into downward facing dog, or take yourself through a half sun salutation, going through plank, lowering down to the floor, easing into a cobra, and then into downward facing dog. So we've done that, that vignette, that mini story all on one side. We need to do the other side. So for triangle, this time you step your right foot forward and stand up and we'll all do triangle legs. So have your right toes turned out, left toes turned in a little bit with both legs straight for triangle. Inhale, reach the arms out to the sides. Exhale, bringing that right hand down, left hand up. Again, you could work this with a hand up or hand on the hip, whatever feels better for you right now. If you are locking your knees, particularly hypermobile people, feel for coming out of that hyperextension in the knee, like very slightly bending the knees maybe. Triangle's almost like in between warrior one and warrior two, but the feet are kind of quite wide really. Then we came into vertical splits, bring the arms down, bend both your knees, Step the, step the left foot in closer to the right foot so you can bring both hands down onto the floor and then you're lifting the left foot up and back. Coming towards vertical splits, bringing your, your chest towards the, the, the standing leg. Inhale, reach up and back with the leg in the air. Exhale, let the neck relax. 
With this, the, the right hip might be rolling out a little bit. You're not deliberately rolling it out, but it might be rolling a little. Sorry, I mean the left hip. With this, the, the left hip, the, 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 the left hip might be rolling out a little bit. Then come into half moon. Keep the right hand on the floor, take the left hand onto the hip and bring, now you're bringing more rotation into the hip, more rotation around the ribs. Leg that's in the air is about the same height as the hip. Working this either with the left hand on the hip or left hand up in the air. Thinking about the, the ribs, the ribs, rib, ribs rotating. So if you're looking down towards the floor, rotate the rib cage so you're looking more towards the side. All right, then the knees come out of that. And either stand up or go into downward facing dog or move through a half salutation. So that's the end of the second vignette. Inhale in plank, exhale lower down, inhale cobra, exhale downward dog. Let's all come into downward facing dog now. So we've got one more set, one more mini story, one more vignette. And we will start this one with pyramid. Step your left foot forward and then lift your torso up. Now for pyramid, so a little bit, the leg position is, the foot position is quite similar to warrior one. There's like about three feet in between the feet, something like that. But with warrior one, you'd have the left knee bent and with pyramid, you have the left leg straight. So both legs are straight. Again, if you have a tendency if, you, if you're hypermobile or you have a tendency to lock into the knees, I want you to feel for the legs being straight, but without locking the knees. So pyramid, so legs are straight, and then you're leaning forward from the hips, bringing the hands onto the thigh or the shin or the floor. Slightly roll the left hip back and the right hip forwards. Feel for actively pressing down into the feet, particularly the inner feet. Second pose in this three pose vignette is twisting triangle. Take your right, keep your right hand on the, on the leg. Take your left hand onto the hip. And then you're twisting towards your left. Now, if your hands on the floor, it makes this really, really hard unless you're super flexible. So have the hand somewhere up on the, on the leg, whether it's the shin or the thigh, that you can actually twist your torso. Yeah. Again, both legs straight, straight-ish. Breathing in a way that helps you to let go of unnecessary tension. Okay, third pose in this three pose vignette is lounge lunge. Bring your right knee down to the floor, put padding underneath it if you need to. Take the left foot and step it a bit further forwards. Inhale and bring the hips towards the front of the mat. Exhale, take the left hand around the left shin and right hand onto the floor. Keep moving forwards and down with the, the hips and the chest and then turn your chest towards the left knee, towards the knee you're holding onto. Lounge lunge. 
feel for being here in a way that helps you to let go. Adjust anything you need to. If you don't feel very much, try taking the left foot further forwards so that you're able to bring the hips further forward and drop the right side of the ribs a little towards the floor. Come out of this. And before we move on to the other side of this vignette, either stand up or come into downward facing dog or come or move yourself in your own time through a sun salutation, like a half sun salutation. And then we'll all come into pyramid. So facing towards one of the short sides of your mat, you would have the right foot forward this time, left foot back. Again, about three feet, about three feet between the, between the feet in this, in this direction. But orientating yourself, so you're looking at the, one of the short ends of your mat, pulling the right hip back and the left hip forwards. Inhale and actively press the feet down and just check out the legs so they feel straight, but without jamming into the knees. Exhale, leaning forwards from your hips, bringing the hands onto the shin or the thigh or the floor. Feeling your strengths and also feeling for letting go. Now coming into twisting triangle, take your right hand onto the right hip, keep the left hand somewhere on the leg and then rotating the ribs around to the right. Rotating the ribs around to the right. Again, being aware of the of the legs that you legs and knees that you're not not crunching into the knees. Now coming into lounge lunge, bring your left knee down to the floor, putting cushioning under it, under it if you need to. Bring the right foot further forward. Helen, bring your right foot further forwards. And then bring your hips towards the front of the mat. Bring the left hand down onto the floor and the right hand onto the right shin. Inhale, move the hips forwards and down. Exhale, turn your chest towards the right knee, towards the, the, the knee that you're holding on to. Feeling for dissolving tension and letting go. Whatever it is you're working with today. And then ease out of lounge lunge. Let's do a lying down hip release sequence now. If you lie on your back on the floor, bring your left knee in towards the chest and have your right leg straight. Slightly pull the left knee in towards the chest. And as we do this whole mini sequence, 
feel for breathing in a really deep way that helps you to continue to dissolve tension. Particularly from the hips. Because that's an area that we all hold tension. Feel for washing your deep breath through any tension spots, any tight spots. Then come into a lying down twist with one knee bent. You'll take your left knee all the way to the right, stretch your left hand past the head on the floor and rest the right hand on the left knee. So rolling knee over to the side, left hand comes up, right hand rests on the, on the left knee. Long, luxurious breaths to help you let go. Thinking about the leaves in autumn as they let go one by one. How that can be like a slow and really gracious process. Letting go bit by bit. Leaf by leaf. Then bring both arms down so they're level with the shoulders. Use the arms to help you roll onto the back. And we'll do half frog. So keeping the right leg straight, have the left leg lifted up with the knee above the hip and then foot about the same height as the knee with the foot flexed. And then you'll take that whole left leg out to the side, but keeping your right hip on the floor. So you're not, not rolling. Keep the right hip really steady bringing the left leg into half frog. Slightly using the, the left hand to press on the thigh and to slightly support the leg. Sending your breath to the left hip whilst keeping the right leg really nice and steady. Then we'll do a half dead bug. Bend your leg a little bit more so you can reach your left hand to catch hold of the left foot or catch hold of the, the leggings on the left side. And then you could do this either with the right leg straight or if that does not feel good, you could do this with the right knee bent. Observing any tight spots and exploring letting go. Release that leg, bring both feet to the floor with the knees bent and wiggle the hips about. Let's do the other side. Bring your right knee towards the chest and left leg straight. So knee to chest to begin with. Slightly pulling the knee in. Keeping the left leg steady. Mm -hmm. 
lying down twist with one knee bent. You'll take this knee all the way over to the left. Reach your right arm out past the ear. And take your other hand, your spare hand onto the, to the bent knee. Noticing tight spots and tension spots. Using your breath to help soften, let go. Then half frog, roll onto your back. And uh, still working with the left leg straight. Bring the right leg so the knee is above the hip. Foot the, foot's the same height as the knee with the foot flexed. And then take the right leg out to the side. Keeping the left leg straight and keeping the left hip on the floor. Using your right hand to, to support or maybe to slightly stretch the stretch into the right thigh. Let your jaw relax as you connect your hips. Feel if that helps you to soften around the hips too. Then come into a half dead bug. Reach with the, with the right hand for the right foot. Bending the knee even more and bringing your right knee in the direction of the armpit. Right foot kind of ends up above the, above the knee. And again, you could have the left leg straight or left knee bent. Noticing tension around the hips. And exploring whether you can let some go. And then release the foot, bring both feet to the floor, stretch the arms out at a T shape and just come into a simple moving twist. So the arms out to the side, tracking the knees from one side to the other. Continuing in that pattern, moving in a way that feels like it, it's helping you decrease tension. And then slowly bring that movement to stillness and decide if there's anything you need to do to make yourself super comfortable for Shavasana. So if there's any extra clothing you need to put on or blankets you want to wrap around yourself or particular positions you want to get into so you can rest really comfortably, then do that now. Either setting yourself up on your back in like a classical Shavasana position with the legs straight and the arms straight. Or doing something different if that would feel better for you today.
letting your weight, the weight of your body rest on the ground, on the earth. Let's do a, a short guided meditation. Imagine a great tree. A great tree with roots in the earth and branches extending up to the sky. And as you notice the tree, you realize it must be autumn. Because the leaves are turning, leaves are turning orange or yellow or red. Notice everything about the tree, the texture of the bark, all the different branches, how you can feel how the roots must spread out in the earth. sense of the life of the tree going down into the earth and the life of the tree going up into the branches. And yet this is feeling of autumn. And it's as if every now and again, the tree exhales and a leaf falls. gently and gracefully floats and falls and comes down to the earth. And as each leaf lets go, it's like just letting go of something that needs to let go. Something that in its proper season is just being released. and let go. So as you rest, if you're enjoying the sense of being connected to the tree, stay with that. And the sense of just gentle letting go. Letting go of the leaves that are turning, the leaves that are ready to fall. as you rest in Shavasana.
Take some deep breaths and come back to your body. Slowly start to move, to wake up, and eventually to ease to a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and exploring the art of letting go. I hope to practice with you again another day. Goodbye. If you have any questions or comments about this practice, do head over to my website, inspiratrix.co.uk and send me a message via there.